So recently, there has been this very popular video edit effect on social media, and it's recreating the look of a Petzval lens. It's the corners are being blurred out, and it just it's it looks pretty dreamy and it looks pretty cool. Now, I would say this is one of the most trendiest lenses that is used in Hollywood, and I've seen movies like Poor Things, and it's really integrated well into the story. But again, we can recreate this effect in post. You can easily do this in most editing programs, and basically it's just one simple step. So on the effects tab, we're gonna go radial blur. Now, right now it's applying it to the full image, and we don't want that. Basically, this is this strength is pretty good, and it's basically like causing this radial blur, which is awesome. And then we're just gonna go power grade, and it's gonna isolate it to where it is right now. And it's looking like it's just inside. So we're gonna invert that power grade. So it's just applying it to the corners of the image. Now we're just gonna keep it like this in the center because if you're using an actual Petzval lens, it's not gonna like, you know, it's not gonna focus on your subject. It's basically the center framing on here. Okay, perfect. And I think that already looks good. See this? We will keep it like that so it's more gradual. I think I like this. That's perfect. Okay. And that's basically it. You can stop here, but you can also kind of push it more in a stylized look. Now on the corners, you can see that it's just like blurring the sides. But what we can do is we can add this prism blur. Basically, it just adds a little bit of that and you're just stacking an effect on top of an, of an effect. We can go prism blur here. So you can see that it's like doing it on the full image again. Power grade, same thing. We are just going to kind of recreate the power grade we had with the vintage lens blur, the Petzval blur. And so far, this is way too much. Aberration strength, we're gonna push it to the max. And then vignette size and sharpness, we're just gonna keep it as is. The thing is the aberration distance and we're just gonna push it a little bit. So it gives you that, you know, chromatic aberrations on the side. So it gives it a little bit more character. And uh, basically the cherry on top would be like halation. I don't like doing halation too much anymore. So we're just gonna keep it a little bit to here. And then glow, just a tiny bit. So it gives us a little bit more of that, you know, vintage vibe. And to finish it all off, film grain. And to finish it all off, add lens distortion to fully sell the effect. If you got any questions about this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like my colors and you want to make your edits feel like a memory, the links are in the description and I will see you in the next video. Peace.